So, here I am, I'm a ventriloquist, which means I can talk without moving my lips. Much. <laughs> and I create the illusion that the puppet I'm manipulating is actually talking. I am the puppet in question, I'm helping the ventriloquist, Paul Zerdin, create the illusion that I'm actually talking. But I am not. No, it's me that's doing the talking. And I'm just moving my mouth. Because if Zerdin stops talking, but my mouth carries on moving, this is all that will happen. If the Zerdin didn't stop talking, but didn't move my mouth, this is what would happen. You see, I could talk without moving my mouth. <laughs> you could be a ventriloquist. <laughs> no, thank you. What do you mean? Ventriloquists are losers. <laughs> Destined to die alone. I'm not a loser. You're a loser. I'm not a loser. Let's see. Hmm. Have you got a girlfriend? Yes, I have. Well, no, not at the moment. No. No, because you're a loser. Look at you, you're late forties. Mid. Late. Late-ish. What about Nikki? Dumped you. Really? Yeah. Remember what happened with the sat-nav? Oh, yes, yes. I pretended to make the voice of the sat-nav in the car. <laughs> what did you make it say? You're too close to the car in front. <laughs> do not try and do your makeup whilst driving. Come on, love, you can get a bus through there. <laughs> she ruined that car. <laughs> yeah, but it was funny, though. Yeah. What about Amanda? Dumped you. You told her those weighing scales could talk. Oh, yeah. She got on them, what did you say? One at a time, please. What about Sarah? Sarah? Ah, oh, well, the thing is, that was a personality clash. Yeah, she had one. 